Welcome to Extreme Raid Channel. In this video guide, we will show you how to install the PS4 Dawn Remap Kit with USB Type-C. Let's convert your PS4 Controller Micro USB to the USB-C. And overpower your games with 4 back buttons of 6 configuration profiles. Before the installation, check your controller models. And check if you get all the component inside the box. Then let's start the process. First, unscrew the back shell of the controller. Grab the bottom of the shell and open the controller. Disconnect the battery and the ribbon cable. Put the back shell aside. Unscrew the battery tray and put it aside. Disconnect the touchpad ribbon connecting the motherboard. Then grab the middle assembly and wiggle it to lift it off the front plate. And be careful with the touchpad ribbon here. Unhook the motherboard secured with the bracket post and flip the board over. The following section is a soldering free installation. If you don't need to map the touchpad and thumbsticks, please follow this section. Use the Extreme Rate FPC and cover the yellow part on the original one. Then flip the motherboard back and secure it with the post. Lock the motherboard screw and reconnect the touchpad ribbon. Then skip to the next part and connect the cable to the PCB. This section includes soldering guide. If you need to map the touchpad and thumbsticks, please follow this section. Use the Extreme Rate FPC and cover the yellow part on the original one. Use a tape to fix this part. For mapping the touchpad, we need to solder the illustrated joint. First use the iron to heat the solder. And carefully apply the solder to cover both joints. After the soldering is completed, peel the tape and flip the motherboard back into place. Line up the motherboard and snap it back on the bracket. Double check and make sure the board is well secured by these posts. Next let's deal with the PCB board. Use the pliers or scissors to cut off the extra metal leads of the back button modules. Be careful and not to be hurt by the flying pieces. Then place the port as shown and be ready for the soldering. Heat and put some solders onto these two illustrated joints. Then solder the left and right wires to the both joints in respect. and check if you solder the wires to the correct joints. All about the soldering part is completed here. Then put the motherboard assembly back on the front plate. Line up with the clips and seat flush both parts.
Reconnect the touchpad cables. And screw down the motherboard. Then connect the end of the cable to the PCB. Lift the flap and insert the cable, then close the flap. Then connect another FPC cable to the PCB board. Next let's assemble the back shell. Fit the setting button down into the hole. And stick this tape on the illustrated place. Then install the PCB board onto the given place of the back shell. Screw down the board to fix it on the shell. Disassemble the lighting components on the original shell. and peel the tape and tape it onto the extreme rate PCB. Assemble the indicator lighting components in order onto the Dawn Remap shell. Then assemble the back button modules to the corresponding places of the back shell. Install and screw down the back button module bracket. If your controller version is 050 or 055, the cable connector should be at same side with the FPC. Plug the cable to the connector. Then plug the battery cable and install the battery. Arrange the spare LED adapter cables and sit them into the gap. Put the housing back to the controller and snap it back on. If your controller version is 040, 
The cable connector should be on the opposite side of the FPC. Put on the battery tray first. and plug the cable to the connector. Then plug the battery cable and install the battery. Arrange the spare LED adapter cables and the back button wires and sit them into the gap. Then tape and fix the wires. Align the housing and snap it back onto the controller. Lock the four screws on the back shell. and install the K1, K2, K3, and K4 buttons. Press the buttons and check if all is clicking. and plug the USB-C cable to check if the port is working. The following section is button remapping tutorial. Before you enter the setting, make sure the controller is connected to the console or PC. Hold and press the setting button and enter the setting. When the indicator are blinking, you can map the button to the K button by pressing both buttons at the same time for a few seconds, and here would be a red flash to indicate the mapping is stored. Here you can choose which buttons to be mapped by only holding and pressing both buttons under the setting mode, and can only map four button at maximum. When you complete the mapping, hold and press the setting button to exit the setting mode, and the indicator will stop blinking. After mapping the buttons, we can test the back buttons in-game and see if the mapping is working. If you want to remove all the mapping setting, hold and press L1, or 1, up, left, triangle and circle buttons together for about 5 seconds, then all the mapping profiles will be cleaned. If you have different configuration profiles, double-click the setting button to switch to the next one. If the indicator light is off, the mapping function is exit.
This section is the tutorial of how to adapt the LED kit if you install both kit on a controller. Plug the LED cable to the zip connector. and assemble other components to the controller. Plug the LED cable to the motherboard. Connect the battery cable to the LED adapter, and then connect the other LED connector to the motherboard. Align the housing and snap it back onto the controller and see if the LED are working. Thanks for watching the video. Happy customizing with Extreme Rate.